Hey there, it's time for another quick tip. So how do shoppers find parts in your store? Well, today we're going to take a look at a tool called Fitment Buckets. And these are a very simple way to organize the parts in your store based on fitment. It's really good for mobile shopping where you need a big button to mash so that you can find the parts for a particular vehicle. What we're going to look at here is a section of um, Mustangs. So uh, Mustangs by generation, but we want to be able to show the parts uh, for each generation. So how do we do it? Well, let's find out. So what do we need today? Well, you'll need to have your Shopify store and the Turn 14 app for Shopify installed. Uh, once you have that, we can get to creating the, the buckets. And before we get started, it might be helpful just to make a clarification between your make model search and a bucket. So your make model search is where you have a list of all the possible uh, combinations of uh, uh, vehicles to search for and it's very very good for uh, large uh, catalogs. Uh, if you have a small catalog or if most of your shoppers are using mobile and um, uh, they can't click so easily on, uh, on combo boxes then uh, the fitment bucket is a good simple solution. So how do we create a fitment bucket? Well first of all let's go to the buckets window and we can give it a name. So we're going to call this one uh, Ford Mustangs before 2000. So we can add that in. That's the name of the bucket. Now we have to tell the system what kind of vehicles will fit into that bucket. Uh, I'm just going to say all uh, Mustangs here. So, well, from I guess early days. <laughs> so we'll pick the year, say 1964 to say uh, 99. So we'll add that in. So now what this is uh, telling the system is that we want all Mustangs uh, between 1964 and 1999. So we can go ahead and save that. Um, that now commits it so any uh, brands that are loaded will automatically go into those buckets. And I'm going to add another one here too. So let's say Ford Mustang after 2000. So we'll take the same approach here. We're going to load in the different types of fitment that we want to put into this bucket. And actually, by the way, they don't all have to be the same. So you could even have you know, Mustangs and Chargers and other types of vehicles in there. Uh, the, the main thing is just to group them how you need them for your store. So I've just decided here that it's going to be good to have uh, Ford Mustangs um, before and after 2000. I think we'll also add in uh, the Shelby, or sorry, the SVT, so Ford Mustang SVT Cobra. We'll add that bucket, so we'll get our third one. Um, in this case, I'm going to allow any year range, so we'll just leave those empty. But I'm going to pick the SVT Cobra, and there's actually a few of them in here, so I'm going to add all three. So SVT Cobra, SVT Cobra uh, 10th Anniversary and also the Cobra R. So now that defines my uh, Cobra bucket. I've got my Mustangs after 2000 and I've got my Mustangs before 2000. So I'm going to go ahead and save that now. And that will handle the data part. So the collections and necessary tags will be created behind the scenes. But I still need to tell my theme where to find those um, uh, collections. So over here, I've actually just opened up my um, theme editor. Uh, so there's this section here, pick your vehicle, but you can use any theme really. It doesn't have to be the debut theme, uh, just as long as you have an ability to select a collection. And so in my pick your vehicle collection, uh, I'm gonna select uh, these new ones I've just added. So. Uh, Ford Mustang after 2000. So I'm going to select that one. So now it puts the picture. You can add pictures on the collections in the Shopify editor. And the second one I'm going to put, let's see, let's put the SVT in this one here. 
So now that's got my second one. And the third one, I'm going to put the ones before 2000. So that makes sure we've got all three of them there. And uh, so once I can go select, I can hit save. And now whenever a shopper clicks on one of these collections, it'll take the, um, the fitment bucket uh, products. So actually, let's take a quick sneak look here at the collections. So if I go to my Shopify admin, I go under collections, uh, I can look for, oh, actually they're right at the top here. Okay, so let's say um, before 2000, uh, this will show the, the collection. I can also set that image, but it also gives me a clue as to which products are gonna be in that collection. So we can see these have already been loaded up. The uh, term 14 app for Shopify handles this for you. And now I can reload my store and uh, I'm going to go uh, navigate down to the different uh, options here that I've added in and just click. So now this um, collection is showing all Ford Mustang parts after 2000. So we've got that list here. We can go back uh, and then we can go to the SVT section and we see the ones that fit the SVT. So that's a really simple way to add navigation by vehicle uh, in your Shopify store. Uh, if you want something more uh, complex, there's the Fitment uh, search integrations we have. So with our uh, uh, partners, you can do really advanced year make model search or category based search. Uh, this is really good for simple um, uh, big buttons to press. So if you need any help, uh, feel free to give us a call uh, or drop an email and we'd be happy to help you out. Thank you for your time.